Hi, this is Zach Log the Great. You see this? This is a uh, safety pin. It can be used for many things, but its primary intended use is to fasten one thing to another without the risk of jabbing yourself with the exposed point. A clever little device. My compliments to the inventor, and I hope he became wealthy from it. As of two weeks ago, safety pins found an alternate use as a method of virtue signaling, telling various minorities who were scared because a horrible, evil Nazi was elected U.S. president that you are a safe person to talk to about these fears. It goes along with bizarre conspiracy theories about what Donald Trump plans to do as president and an enormous list of evidence-free claims of various threats and hate crimes against minorities. Monday, November 28th, 2016, a scumbag whose name I will not mention ran down a crowd at a university in Ohio with his car and then got out and slashed at people with a knife until he was put down by a nearby police officer. Thank God. This scumbag was a Somali Muslim, an immigrant to our country, in fact. Now, contrary to the words of the pathetic moron Kasich, we have a good idea why this murderous Muslim scumbag did this, because he told us. He told us that he did this because he's enraged at Muslims being attacked and persecuted. Where would this scumbag get the idea that our country is persecuting Muslims? Was it, perhaps, from you safety pinners repeating paranoid fantasies about a Muslim registry? Does that seem possible? Could it imaginably have been from the constant accusations of Islamophobia that leftists slander Americans with? In case you haven't got my point yet, let me make it entirely clear. By repeating these baseless, evidence-free claims of hate crimes, by feeding into the paranoid fantasies of lunatics like this, you are provoking violence. You are getting people hurt, and thank God that this Muslim scumbag didn't manage to kill anyone. Yet, as of this recording, several are still in the hospital. Stop it. If you do not see actual evidence, do not pass on these stories. Several of them have already been exposed as hoaxes, and many, many more certainly will. Before you actually get your fellow Americans killed. Stop it. <laughs>